Did you know that birds have regional accents? Listen to this red-winged blackbird from Arizona. And now this other one from Kentucky. Their tones are similar, but the Arizona blackbird has a higher pitch than the one from Kentucky. Similarly, this cardinal from Arizona also has a higher pitch song than the ones I'm used to hearing in Kentucky. The timing between their notes can be another distinguishing factor in bird dialects. But what I find interesting is that with certain species like sparrows, their dialects can result in a completely different melody by adding or changing notes. Here's a song sparrow from Kentucky. And another song sparrow from Washington State. Notice how different they sound? But you don't even need to travel to a different state to hear a difference in bird song. Within one single dialect range could exist hundreds of micro accents, or what we call song neighborhoods. It's because birds like sparrows learn how to sing from listening to their parents or other nearby sparrows. Birds that live near each other tend to sound similar to each other. And birds that only live a couple miles away, but in a different song neighborhood, will have a slight difference in their song. And sparrows can pick up on this. A bird from a different song neighborhood may be considered an intruder. According to some studies, it seems that female songbirds are more responsive to males with the local accent with the assumption that they are more experienced with their local environment and could therefore be more successful partners and better providers for their future offspring. I've been lucky to have the opportunity to film bird songs in different states and compare their different dialects, which is one of the most fascinating things about bird language to me. Red-winged blackbirds are always surprising me with different tones or sounds and song sparrows with different melodies. Mockingbirds are also interesting because they mimic the birds that are around them. So if you travel to a different state and you see a mockingbird singing the songs of its local birds, it'll probably be a different melody than the ones that you're used to hearing at home. Well, I'm gonna get back to filming bird songs now. I'll see you guys in the next one.